uh, first of all, Tiffany, great, great to see you. I'm from LA. I did not think I'd be talking to the coach of the Golden State Warriors <laughs> about anything social justice. I think this is awesome. Last week, our team um, invited Brian Stevenson. So he started talking about this issue and he used the word proximity. And he kept saying, you know, proximity is the key to everything because that's when your humanity kicks in. It's what you learn in kindergarten, right? Uh, put yourself in somebody else's shoes. The experience of stepping into spaces that we otherwise wouldn't find ourselves in, not only does it allow us to be sympathetic and spend in solidarity with people, but then it moves us to take action. All we're seeing right now is just really sophisticated uh, versions of what was happening a couple hundred years ago, you know, or or 50 years ago. Maybe it's not as overt, but it's still, it's the same thing. We're, you know, we're, there are a lot of states that are simply trying to keep people from voting. I, I know that I feel like we can be so much better. And we do have a lot of great things about this country, um, but we have a lot to improve upon. I always tell my young people, unfortunately, sometimes you choose the issue or the issue chooses you. Right now, Generation Z, folks who were born after 9-11. Yeah. That generation, along with the millennial generation together, make up 37% of the electorate. And mm -hmm. if we all came out tomorrow and decided we were gonna vote, we could change the entire country together. The young people, if they can understand this, that's where the power lies. I wonder if you think it's harder for sometimes players or even coaches or the sports industry to come out and talk about the social justice stuff sometimes. Colin Kaepernick is a prime example. You know, I mean, he he spoke out and decided to kneel during the anthem and he he's, has never worked in the NFL since. And one thing I am encouraged about is I do think corporate America more and more is understanding that there is uh, the right side of history with all of this. As you know, corporations can in, in influence uh, government policy in a big way. There are people who boycott, there are people who buy, there are people who speak out and use their platforms, and there are people who take to the streets and get arrested, and there are people who vote, and then there are people who run for office. And we need all of those different tactics and skills to be able to move things. Listen, this has been incredible. It is so good to see you again. I really appreciate you deeply for the work that you do. Well, thank you. And, and it's always great to see you. And I look forward to meeting you in person someday, Tiffany. And you're, you're, doing, you're doing a lot of good stuff. So thank you for all your work. <laughs>